Quick pick. Oh, this is tough. I feel like some people are going to be upset about this one. If this is in sync, will Timberlake be upset that he, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I was only thinking because I didn't want JT to be upset. Come on. What are we talking about? Married Life from Upstream number one and Raiders March stream number five. What are you doing out there, streaming world? You're obviously living wrong. It's like the, the, one of the greatest film songs of all time. I'm gonna play this 500 times a day just to get these numbers up. All right, let's see what else is on this thing. All right, which one streamed the most last week? Hip hop. Mm. All right, here we go. Okay, I believe you by money bag, yo. All right, I, I don't even know what I, I don't know what this is. I'm saving that one. Just because it's called balls to the wall and fire. All right. Five bucks to anybody know what that sample is from. Slime Life Shouty. Future. Okay. Only use it for music. My take on go stupid all over that net like a volley. See, here's another, here's another thing. Maxo Cream's the weirdest out of all these, and he's the only one that I really like at the beginning. Like, I'm like, oh, Maxo Cream's dope because he's always coming like left of center of everything. But based on name only, I would either pick Money Bag or the Slime Life Shorty record with future i think that the money bag one's probably the one okay here we go here we go i'm gonna pick this one. Oh, second. second what's first slime life see and 40 percent of the people picked money bag again they must be paying more money to get more streams for this uh future record the thing about the music business is that you can work it's not like a normal job where you like go into work, you put in eight hours, you put in your all, you try your very hardest, like you create X amount of product, and then at the end of the week, you get paid and recognized for that product in some way, shape, or form. In the music business, you can be the best musician, have the best idea, work the very hardest, day up, sun up, sun down, and, and you cut your tree down in the forest and nobody hears it. You know what I mean? Because some guy in an office had beef with another guy in an office that you don't have nothing to do with. So it's like, it's like, in order for your product to, to reach consumption level, recognition level, there's so many things that go into it besides being a good musician. And so when people ask me questions about like, oh, what do I do? I want to get in the music business. I was like, go study behavioral science. <laughs> like skip the piano lessons, go study behavioral science. Because like, if that's 90% of it. The reason why Weekend didn't win a Grammy last year has nothing to do with the fact that he had the best album out. Like, arguably, one of the greatest albums of the entire year didn't get one Grammy award. Why? I don't know why that is. I have no idea why he didn't get nominated. But, but there's a reason, and it's not because his music was bad or didn't deserve it. You know what I mean? So that's a very taxing environment to have to work in every day like you you meet people that are in the music business people tell me which in my in my like later years like you're so unaffected by things or you're or you're like so like you don't you don't ask anybody any questions or you don't tell people about like stuff and it's like this weird defense mechanism that i've built up over the last like 10 years where i'm just like whatever man because if you get attached to things oh you know your business partner of 15 years or this guy that you put on here like just totally like left, like or or, or you, you get stuck holding the bag here, or like you know this you work with this person forever and and they don't give a shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like or or, or you put in all this work, you made seventeen versions of the song for this person and and did exactly everything they asked. They turned to the label, now the label doesn't want it. It's like if you can't like just whoosh, that off, if you can't Barry Sanders it all the way down to the end zone, like you're 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 in trouble, like you'll, you'll die, you'll fall apart because like you have to have the, like the thickest skin of all time and just take nothing personal because it's not personal. It's like you have to love it for doing it. You have to love doing it and failing as much as you have doing it and succeeding. If you love the success, fail out now.
because it's like, you know, never, that's not guaranteed. You could literally be Elton John level talented and never leave your bedroom. It's got nothing to do with it. Um, I still don't know if I'm to that point, so it's hard every day still. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you, you have, being mindful of it is, is like, you know, a constant battle, I think. Enough of that depressing talk. <laughs> <laughs>